Hi guys, 3D Nerd here. In today's episode, I would like to show you how to make a presentation of a chair in two ways. For example, in the left side we have in a studio, and on the right side for a website. It's really simple. First, what we have to do is, for example, we need we created already the, the model of the chair, and would like to present a, to make a presentation to our customers. And this is how you do it. First, you go to the plane, you add the plane here, you send the, I will go to, to a clay mode so you can see, and with the edge frames, we remove the, the viewport, we say one by one, because if we do say four, then we can see here, so zero, we set this like, we have the studio like 10 meters by 10 meters, sorry, 10 meters, so I'm using centimeters, we place this in the middle, by changing here the XII set. Then what we need to do is we need this to convert to editable poly, we move this by holding shift upward, and then we add a chamfer, but we don't have this when we use the, the lighting, the, the shadow doesn't look so hard there. Yes, and then we add the chamfer. And now this, for example, this could look like this on the top view, uh, in the front view, sorry. Now what we need is a camera. For example, we, we work here. We need a camera. We go to the camera. We add the grid, so we see what are we doing. Yes. Already is taking my settings which I was using before showing how to do this. We go to focal length, for example, focal length 120. Then we go to the or settings. We we change this, for example, we need a 0 0.75. Is that 800 by 600? But for example, if you if you type here 600 and then 800, you get the same, and you lock here so. The higher you get, it won't change here, nothing. So the, the view, for example, if you press Shift F and you press C, you are to the camera. So what we need else? We need that the camera is like 100 high and the target of the camera like 50 centimeters. And then we want this chair to go closer and the body of the camera to rotate it. Already we are coming to this view, I think a bit more. Yes, it looks good now. We could go a bit, I think that's that's okay. okay. But we need else. Now the most important thing is the lighting. But before lighting, I would like that this the studio has this kind of color in the background. We go to the colors. We add a new material, Corona Physical Materials, we assign, for example, we click it and we assign the material to this. We can, and then I would like to change the color, we go to the color. And we say that we need like this blue, this blue stuff, or you could already wrote the the RGB, for example, is like 113 with 107 and 93. And that's not right. <laughs> but now that the RGBs are wrong, 54 by 93 by 80. And now we have this color. The background, you can see now we need light because if we would like to start an interaction rendering, we don't see nothing. Yes, and I, I use the preset, so punchy filmic, that we have this rich contrast and sharpness, and now we need lighting. We go to Corona, we go to lightning, we, ch we search for Corona, and we add a Corona lighting. Yes, and I would like to change it so to, to a rectangle, and I would like to just do 170 centimeters I hate 107 and then I would like to rotate it. Before you rotate it, make sure the angle snap is toggled on. So you know which so 
for this for the moment we have it here yes we could start an interaction rendering and we see now we want to lock this interaction rendering to our camera so when we change when we touch other views so it doesn't change that's good and we want to set that these cameras are higher like four meters we are in a studio and now we see we are getting into it that's good and of course it's the, the lighting is high but then we can change it later so the intensity of the lightning is high we go uh, as a copy not as an instant because on from the right side i would like to have uh, not that high not that high intensity but i would like also that this lighting are rotated in 20 degrees why because the lighting is from all upstairs looks good and now i would like to say that this has lighting of of five that is not that high so the intensity and on the on the right side like 30 the intensity yeah that's looking good now and now we need also from from where the cameras are because most of the time when we use this we got like like 45 that's okay then i would like to copy it we could use as an instance because this both lighting should have the same color yeah that's it's it's getting into it as you can see that looks really good and now what i could add also more from upstairs so that on top of it it's also a lighting and this i could go also corona add here change the parameters like the width like 170 with 170 centimeters also the height and then move it in the middle and this we would like to go that this is like really high 550 centimeters and now as you can see it's on top there but the lighting of course is too high there on top i would like that to, to decrease it to a five cent five intensity and here it is guys it's really simple really simple it's not that not not that big deal but we see here because i use then also photoshop to make it more crispy that the product because the product is the, the one which we are selling it then i used for example after this i checked one more one more time the lighting if they are good to know for example the lighting on the front are way too high i would like to go with 10 10 is less 20 both of the lightings are 20 and that looks really good now we have a really balanced colors really balanced shadows that are not too uh, too strong the next is what for example now we wanna would like to do the other this one how to do it it's really simple but of course first you render it and then you hold it or you can make a copy of the 3ds max file then you go to the to the uh, settings we go to the scene we go to this one and we say this is a white one we delete the scene behind it and here you have it it's really simple so before that i would like to show how to make a rendering first then to make a rendering you make sure for example you go to the scene to mode to corona high quality setup to the common you change this to 2500 that uh, you get much more pixels and that's it and you just hit render nothing else and that's all so if you like this tutorial please make a like subscribe to the channel and i will bring more content okay guys then have a nice day and see you in the next episode